great season and a great football team, a class organization. Uh, they gave us everything that we wanted. We knew it was going to be a heck of a battle, and uh, we we enjoy playing teams that, of that caliber that play as hard as they do. But I'm really proud of these kids and the way that they uh, they, they overcome, you know, got down ten to nothing. Uh, they didn't give up. They just kept fighting. They kept playing hard. And uh, you know, I think in the in the long run, we just we made a couple more plays than they did. I thought our defense stepped up and played well late in the ball game, and uh, we were able to establish our run game, which we, we did not have early in the game. Uh, that first quarter, it's kind of, they ran a lot of plays, 22 to y'all seven. Uh, that and they went up 10 nothing. How big was that offensive drive to go down and make it 10-7? Uh, right well, <coughs> we needed a score. I mean, we had to have a score. And for us to, to put that together and go down and do it, you know, we put our defense in a heck of a mind early in the game because uh, they came off of a long drive and then we went three and out and they put together another long drive. And uh, our defense was out there way too much. For, so for us to put together a long drive and then follow it up with a 97-yard drive uh, to keep our defense off the field, that, that was a huge difference in the game. The ability early on, the short passes open up big plays on the sideline with Sean Davis. Was that the game plan early on? Yeah, it was. You know, we, we felt like that we had an opportunity to, to get underneath. Uh, you know, we always like to throw the ball underneath to our guys and let them break tackles. But we felt like we had some opportunities off play action to go deep uh, on them. And uh, I thought Caden did an outstanding job of, uh, of getting the ball to, to, to Sean Davis and to, to Gerald Ford and, and making those, those type plays. So, it was. Uh, it, it's always going to be a situation where we're going to try to run the football, but uh, you know, for the most part, we felt like we had to throw the football against these guys to be success successful. So I tell you, you can't stop smiling. <laughs> Are you happy right now? Yes, sir. Uh, what was it like to be on the field and, and to be chanting, "We're going to the ship" with all your teammates? Those are something that started, you know, after the last season and the way you got that ended. What's that like to, to be there now? It was really surreal. Like we just, we've been working so hard to get there, and now we're finally here. We're finally here. It's amazing. Uh, Kate, the, I think the one pump fake you had, Shantavis down the sideline, set up a scoring play. Reginald's spin off move, which will probably be on Sports Center later. I mean, those big plays. Did you just kind of feel the offense getting momentum off of those plays? Yeah, definitely. It shows, um, you know, <clears> the, <throat> the pump with Shantavis was a coaching move, and we thought, you know. I had thrown it out earlier, and he had gotten hit pretty hard. That corner jump that we thought maybe we'd get over his head if we pumped it, and we did, and it worked out. Good coaching move. And it was, you know, Reginald's play is just – that's just him having an, an unmatchable amount of heart. That's that's what the kid – the kid that's what he has. That's what he brings to the table. Um, you know, he just comes to work every day, and he wants to make those plays, and it showed because their crowd got loud for about a good two seconds, and then they got pretty quiet after he broke about five tackles. So. Yeah, that definitely just pushed us forward, I think. Jeremy, did the defense have kind of like a frustration level with the way that Wolf, the quarterback was able to run in the first quarter? Then what changed there? It's kind of similar to how West Alabama, how you guys adapted in that game. Um, really, we're just, to me, our defense comes out. We come out uh, second half when we just seem to play better second half. You know, That's what we go into. But, you know, I have to commend that quarterback. He was a great quarterback. Probably, to me, you know, the best you know, we've seen all year. But um, that kid was just, he was just real good, and we were real frustrated with him, and really it was just hard to contain him. And then, you know, once we got it done, you know, just ride from there. Coach, red zone stops in the, the first one, and then you got the field goal. Those were big, I'm guessing. Oh, yeah. that, 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 was, that was big. They were, uh, whenever you can, can keep guys from scoring touchdowns and putting seven on the board and holding them to three, uh, that was big, and it's also demoralizing for, for an offense also to put together a great drive and get down inside the 10 and not come away with a touchdown. Uh, and I've been on the other side of that. It's very frustrating, and you go back and scratch your head and figure out what's going on. But those those two stops were, were huge for us at that time, as well as the missed extra point because it kept it as a two-score game. We, we were still up by nine at that point. And, and again, from a play call standpoint, offensively on our side, it makes a big difference when you have that two-score lead. Uh, so, they averaged, sorry, they averaged uh, 83 yards rushing uh, allowed a game. You guys finished at 220. Uh, still being able to, I guess, put your will on teams on the ground. Well, you know, we we felt like we had to run the ball, like I said earlier, and that I'm telling you, that defensive line is a great, great <coughs> defensive line. Uh, I mean, we were very uh, complimentary of them coming in. We had a lot of respect for them coming in. But I think our offensive line played an outstanding football game. They, they made a great defensive line uh, 
Base, basically, I don't think they gave up. I don't think they gave up any sacks, and we kind of neutralized their defensive line, which has been the, the stalwart of their defense all year long, making plays in the backfield and creating sacks. Coach, how did you get hooked up with Gabe? <laughs> we were uh, very fortunate. We lost a quarterback uh, in, in the off season, and uh, we were looking for a quarterback. And we got on the internet one day and uh, found Caden Cochran. And you know, unfortunately for him, he went through a situation where. Uh, all the tornadoes that went through the Midwest, he lost his house and uh, was looking for a home. And uh, we were very fortunate uh, to call him up, brought him in for a visit. I actually came back from vacation from the beach to visit with him. Uh, that, that, that's, how, that's how bad we wanted him. And he came in two weeks beforehand and uh, uh, two weeks before we reported it. And, you know, he was very methodical in, in learning our system. And, and I just, uh, I figured that once he learned our system, he was going to be the guy that was going to lead us to where we are now. And uh, my gosh, he hadn't proven me wrong. Ken, did, did you figure you were going to have to have a big game today? And Coach talked about you knew you have to throw a little bit. But did you feel like this was a, a game in which you kind of had to take control? Yes, sir. Just because their defense was, you know, ranked so high, I think they're number three in the country in total defense, and and how how good they stopped the run. And like Coach said, we need to come in and run the ball. But if for you know. Coming into this week, if, you know, if they stop the run like they do every week, that's, it's going to come on me to throw the ball. And you know, the offensive line not giving up any sacks, huge. Wide receivers making big plays, also huge. And um, you know, it's just those guys. They get the ball in their hands, and they can do great things with them. Uh, already seven nothing West Texas. Uh, how much are you going to watch that score all the way to the airport and back? <laughs> I'm sure we'll watch it. Yeah, I mean, it's right now just absorbing the fact that we have another week together. Another opportunity to go play a game uh, and play for a national championship. Uh, I think we'll enjoy that for a while, and then tomorrow, whoever we, we have to face, uh, we'll start to to hone in on those guys. But we're going to enjoy it right now. Time for uh, a couple more questions if you have any. Okay, we'll wrap it up right there. Thanks very much. Thanks Good luck to you guys next weekend. Thank you.